So I recently figured something out that's pretty cool. We're fishing, it's uh, high skies, a front just moved through, and these fish aren't very active. But as you can see behind me, I have thousands and thousands of stumps to choose from. And finding bass in them can be like finding a needle in a haystack. So instead of at first going and flipping and pitching to every individual stump, and that would take three or four days. Instead of doing that, I like to take a moving bait and kind of just comb the area um, in you know, kind of more of a generic basis and then find out kind of the areas they're using and then I'll go back in and pitch and flip. So one of the best ways I've found to locate these fish in these types of conditions is actually taking the skirt off of a chatterbait and it looks outstanding in the water and it's just something a little bit less bulky. It's not as overpowering to these fish and um, again, it's kind of a finessey, but still power fishing approach. Something that can just let you cover water quickly and, you know, and locate those fish. So again, you know, we've got all these stumps and deadfalls and it all looks so fishy and it can be kind of, there's one, right after I took that skirt off. There you go. Okay, so clue number one. It's not a big fish, but again, we didn't have to spend an hour, hour and a half flipping to catch that fish. Bright days like this, take this skirt off and again, just comb these areas. You don't have to fish every individual stump or any, you know, just generic. I, I'm looking for real broad things that stand out like, you know, this little cluster of stumps right here that is a little bit separated from the rest of the from the rest of the pack so i'm just trying to key in on little irregularities that i might see to see if i can put together some sort of pattern because this can kind of be like finding a needle in a haystack sometimes now trailer selection on this um, i do think it's a pretty important again i'm going for kind of a stealthier approach with this deal so I don't necessarily want something that's gonna be flapping and moving around like crazy and moving too much water behind this bait. So I just decided to, uh, I decided to put on a Z-Man Razor Shads. Um, it's super tough. You can really catch like 20, 30, 40, even 50 fish on one bait. Um, and it, it's just got a small shimmy to it. It's got a segmented tail and um, you know, it, it doesn't move too much water, but it looks just like a little shad or a little pond minnow or whatever, you know, any type of small silver bait fish, it's a great imitator of. As I'm fishing these stumps and, there's one. As I'm fishing these stumps, I am using my rod kind of as a steering wheel for my bait. I'm not just casting and winding straight. Um, you'll see my rod move, you know, I'm kind of just steering my bait. So I'll cast over here and I want to get as close to these little stumps as I can. So I'll kind of move it over here and then, you know, and, and pop it every now and again. I like to pop it as I get close to those stumps just to make it flash and kick out just a little bit more. There he is. And one of the reasons this is one of my favorite search baits is because I can control the depth at which this bait runs. Um, I, it doesn't have a traditional diving lip on it like a crankbait or anything. So, you know, just with changing your rod angle and your retrieve speed, you can make this thing, this is a 3 8 ounce chatterbait jack camera. So with a slow retrieve, I can wind it down in about six, seven feet if I want to. And with a fast retrieve, I can wake it right underneath the water surface like a traditional swim jig if I wanted to. So it gives me a lot of options. There's a lot of little ditches and, uh, and little humps and bars in this area that we're fishing. So, you know, it, it's not, it's a lot simpler than having to have six different, you know, depth crankbaits tied on. This one bait will kind of cover it all as long as you use your retrieve speed and your rod tips to kind of drive it and steer it around the stuff. 